Well, it's still dark. Day 10 starts as normal with a coffee in the bar. It's 10 to 9 and we are heading out of Chateau, Chateaubriand on the D163, heading towards Rennes. But then go on Rennes and head towards Saint Malo. And that will be morning. 25 today, something like that. Yeah. We got a bit early start, so it should be good. Nice smooth road. We're on the D roads. Touch wood, it's not raining yet. Too late now. It's too late now. I don't want to say that. <laughs> blue skies up ahead, little bit of blue sky. Nothing but blue sky do I see. Okay. Mr. Blue Sky. So that is whole 10 days. We weren't sure if we'd actually make the make the distance in time without having to take any alternative methods of transport but yesterday we got a little bit complacent and dawdled but oh yesterday afternoon the wind was terrible in the morning probably cost us 20k but when the weather's fine and you're on nice smooth dew roads but we've been hammering We are not hanging around. It's been hard work. Still is. Still got a whole day. Up ahead, we've got, I think it's a church. It's huge. Of Rouge. Rouge, eh? Rouge. See all the windmills in the morning. I'm just cycle along here, just have to stop and have a little look at this, film this. There's about a million guinea power. We are now going through the rather picturesque village of Thury. Right, we just had a little stop. Look at the little tumble down building. Beautiful village. And a beautiful village of Thury. I want to buy that little house. And renovate and, and it. Do it up, make it into a gorgeous little tiny house. <laughs> so nice. It's oh, a it's really, good. really well kept village, really neat, tidy, yeah. great big open uh, nice. boulevard, or whatever you call it, road. Very nice, lovely. There is a field of sunflowers. I think it's sunflowers. With sunflower seeds. Heads aren't, heads aren't big to be sunflowers, right? No, sunflowers. Really? You're so right, mate. It's very handy with a mile post. The roads today are gloriously empty. The air is fresh, but not too cold. The colours are muted and, and pastel. It's a wonderful October morning. The time is now 10 a.m. We have 25 kilometres left to Ren, and then we will have a ride through the city in stark contrast to this open, beautiful countryside. Oh, 
We are just heading into the little town of Kupsnud. Magnificent old building. Still on the way to Ren. All right, we have just spotted the first sign for our destination. Samolo, yeah. Enjoying these autumnal colours. We are just heading in on the cycle path to Wren. Almost a few K and it'll be black coffees and baguettes all around. Well, just a little uh, tramway in for Ren. Just heading in for the city centre. Little sandwich place. Ooh. All right, we're going to stop here. Going to get a sandwich and then we'll uh, head off, find somewhere to sit, get a coffee. Rather beautiful. This is rain. Right. I'm just having a sandwich in American. Italian. Sandwich Italian. Very nice. Five euros fifty. Very nice. Right, of course he's leaving Ren and it is starting to rain. We have, oh my goodness, we have about four more hours of cycling. So 
so that is pretty much down this road now for the next 70 kilometers or so in uh, until we get to San Marlo so we have a very nice cycle route next to the road where we can cycle without getting any traffic it's wonderful Hopefully. Very funky little machine, remote control. Well, we've been pretty lucky all day. It's like about 1.30 now. And the weather's just closed in. It's starting to rain. It looks like there's more rain on the way up there, which we're heading into. But at the end of this bit, at the end of the day, at least we know we don't have to go any further. Look at that line in the cloud. So we are just uh, running parallel to the motorway pretty much all the way up now. Looks like the weather gods were on our side again. Free range chicken. Is it? About 20 kilometers left to go till we get to San Molo. We're heading on the D637. And of course, the rain is greeting us in San Molo. What a way to finish our ride! Soaked to the skin. We're happy. Yeah, the rain's bucketing down. We've still got about 15k to go. Today it doesn't seem to matter so much getting soaked. Soaked and cold. Just getting there now. Hey, Samalo! Oh, we did it! Yeah. Uh, finally! Finally made it, high five mate! Hey. Made it to San Marlo! How are you filming so I think you're taking a We've done it, here we go, San Marlo! Yeah, excellent! 1,000, time, time for a beer! 1,200 kilometers! Let's go! Very happy to say that we have Completed our journey, we are now in San Marlo. So I'd just like to say thanks for watching this trip. Now, if you like watching this, then you might like this next video coming up, where, where I will talk through everything we carried 
for the last 10 days that we use for our trip. So if you like these kind of videos, please do me a huge favour and help my little channel by hitting that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. Thank you.